Well, good evening to you. Um, I'm going to do something tonight that I don't normally do, and that is discuss a previous video. And I'm doing this because um, I think it's important that we, we come to understand what we're dealing with when it comes to the mainstream media. I reported yesterday on um, my video, which was um, concerning uh, the Western world and the decline of the Western world. And uh, I did a thumbnail of Princess Kate, uh, William's wife, and King Charles, who are, according to mainstream media, reported to have both got cancerous um, cells, a cancerous situation that was discovered after routine surgery. And uh, I was sent an article by a sister in the Lord, and um, I must confess, I looked at the article, I saw that it came from two or three different sources that were not mainstream media. Um, one of them was, I think, Yahoo News, and uh, I put it out there. And some people, or quite a few people, have come back to me in the comments saying, where did you get this information, all this and that and the other. Well, the thing that we need to understand is, yes, it's very possible that it's fake news. However, we're dealing here with a very corrupt media establishment. And those of you that live in the UK would know that the last thing that the establishment wants to see is the dissolution of the monarchy or the demise of the monarchy in any way, especially considering the, uh, the vested interests that, the, that uh, are involved in keeping the monarchy alive. And so therefore, mainstream media, of course, have not reported it. And basically what, is, what I'd said in the, uh, in the video yesterday was that Charles had pancreatic cancer and that he'd been given two years to live. Well, I did a bit of digging around on, on the, um, the platforms that are not YouTube, you could say. And uh, all I could come up with was one in BitChute, which actually said worse than that, that he actually only had six months to live. Now, this information, they say, is coming out of the palace itself, and the information is given by courtiers. And of course, courtiers are people that are working inside the palace, that have probably privy to information that we're not. And sometimes, as we know, and let's face it, it's for sure, that um, we, we hear things on um, alternative media, that come out maybe a year, two years later sometimes, to be absolutely true. And mainstream media finally catch up with it. I suppose an example of that is, is the, uh, the stuff that comes out of the Alex Jones channel. Um, I used to be quite a watcher of Alex Jones. And what a lot of people say is, well, he's fake news, he's a conspiracy theorist, and he's this, that, and the other. But he certainly has been proved to be right in many respects. I, I can remember watching Alex Jones when he was talking about Jeffrey Epstein and the, uh, the, the infamous charter flights that people were taking to his private island. And Alex was talking about this, oh goodness, some two, three years ago. And of course, as we know, since uh, Epstein was arrested and then uh, was died in jail by some sort of circumstance. Of course, we can say he was either died or he was murdered. Um, and it's turned out to be true. But mainstream media only caught up with it a couple of years later. And I would imagine that concerning this particular issue with regard to Charles and Kate, um, the last thing the min mainstream media want to do is to um, cause any kind of alarm in the, in the country that uh, perhaps Charles's situation is a lot worse than it is. Now, um, I hold up my hands to, to um, putting out the article, but uh, at the same time, let's remember that we're living in a world of deception, and the deception is getting stronger and stronger every day. And those of you that are Christians that I'm talking to tonight, I'm talking to myself as well, we have to be more and more careful about what we listen to and the fact that we're being constantly lied to. Um, we know the masters of propaganda that through the 20th century brought about absolute disaster on their nations. Um, Joseph Goebbels being one, of course. 
Propaganda is the business. And as we know, as Christians, and those of you that are not Christians, I may be speaking to tonight, but yet you might call yourself a truther. You've been looking for information about various different things and finding it not on, alterna not on mainstream um, sources, but on alternative sources. And of course, that makes the mainstream media very scared. We have a channel in the UK called GB News, um, and it's been standing up very much against the, uh, the woke establishment, the LGBT um, brigade. And of course, they've been getting the ratings. And they've actually been, their viewings have been sky high, literally. They've been breaking, they've been, you can probably, uh, Nigel Farage, who's a, quite a prominent right wing um, politician in this country, in the UK, was saying that the, tonight, he was saying that the, um, the, the, the viewing figures are bigger than the BBC and, the, and Sky News combined. And of course, what do the, uh, do the establishment want to do? They want to shut GB News down. They want to silence their voice. So I just want to say to you tonight that whether that's a true article or whether it isn't, isn't the point. The point is that a lot of things are going to start coming out and a lot of things that are possibly what we might consider dubious. But yet we might need to just hang on a little bit, give these things time just to, to embed and then to see how they pan themselves out because the mainstream media are in a panic. There's absolutely no doubt about that. I don't know how much censorship I'm getting myself these days, but um, with regard to that thing in the arm and what happened four years ago, um, just three days ago, of course, it was the fourth anniversary of when the whole country went down into lockdown, the whole world went into lockdown. And of course, at the beginning of it, um, unless you had some suspicion, like I did, that something was wrong. Now it's all starting to come out. The situation with the excess deaths, people just dropping here and there. And, um, of course, what are the mainstream media wanting to do? Keep it quiet. And it's, it's absolutely blindingly obvious what's going on, that this, that this thing really is causing harm like nothing on earth. And yet, out of the mainstream media, it's still being pushed and people are still being told, go and get your, your jab. So on that stream, which is why I say we need to be so careful, but let's put this into a spiritual context tonight. What did Jesus say in Matthew 24? He started off by saying one particular thing, take care that you are not deceived. We can be deceived with all kinds of information. You in the US will know what's coming out with regard to Donald Trump, how they're trying to frame him along many lines and trying to say that he's, a, he's committed fraud, he's not declared his income, he's declared too much income, he doesn't declare his taxes. Um, mainstream media in collusion with world global governments, the World Economic Forum, are going to do their very best to make sure that he does not get back into power. And as we know too in the UK with our woke establishment, as I said last night, I think it was it last night, that Barack Obama was at number 10 Downing Street. Was it reported by the mainstream media? Not at all. It was mentioned I think on GB News and various other channels. So we need to be careful about the information we hear, but at the same time, we know that there are things afoot that the global elites don't want to come out because they want to control the narrative. They want to make sure that people are kept in ignorance. Everything's going on just as it ever was before. Don't worry about it. But we know differently. And we know that things are cranking up. They're cranking up to a large degree across the world and that the information we hear, it may, some of it be dubious, it may be exaggerated, but at the same time, it's important that we listen, sift out what we feel is, is important to listen to, and then just lay the other stuff aside. Not fully dismissing it though, because we don't know who the courtiers are in Buckingham Palace. We don't know what's been said. We don't know what conversations have been overheard. Um, we only go, by what we hear 
blasted at us from the TV box. So whatever country you're in tonight, and whoever I'm speaking to, I'm sure you've got the same situation going on in your countries. Um, all kinds of information being blasted at us. I think it was the pre president or prime minister of New Zealand, the, the previous prime minister, Jacinda Ardern, saying the only people you should trust is the, is the government for information. <laughs> well, really, if we have to trust the government for information, um, many of us, I think, a lot more people would have probably have put this into their arm and a lot more people would be dying along with the, the, the gross numbers that are already. So I leave that thought with you tonight and um, I do, probably will be sharing a lot more on these subjects, I'm sure I will, as we see um, events unfolding, as we see what's taking place in the Middle East with regard to Israel. Now I believe the UN Security Council have um, put out another demand on Israel that they, they, that they uh, instigate a ceasefire in Gaza. Those of you that are awake will know what's going on with Israel and will know that um, it's central to um, God's plan for um, Jesus' plan too, for his return, his resurrection, the resurrection of the, of the saints, the rapture, all this that's going to take place. And we know that everything is stirring and bubbling. And uh, it's important for us to be awake. So I would leave those thoughts with you tonight and suggest that um, you do as I will be doing, um, taking careful note of things, um, not dismissing everything, but taking careful note and asking the Lord for wisdom and discernment. Have a blessed evening.